I'm Max. And I'm Tony. And we are here filming ben Balan's Wedding. wedding. Ben and Callum, oh, yeah. very good. The wedding with Whitney made Callum believe that, that actually what he was doing was not only breaking his heart, but breaking Whitney's heart at the same time, and he couldn't find himself to go through with it. And he had to be true to himself through a long journey of finding himself and an emotional roller coaster, and then finding this, of all people. Um, I think they've come such a long way. I think there's so much water under the bridge and so much history between the two of them that, that making this decision now at a time when tensions have certainly been high, uh, there's been lots of mistrust and miscalculation in both of their relationships. So I think it's uh, it's the time that it makes sense. They're, they're ready to make that commitment and... Yeah. Um, no more lies. No more lies. All honesty. Yeah. Obviously no Which more drivers. Famous, famous for Literally. Walford. Hello everybody <laughs> and welcome to the fantastic <laughs> EastEnders quiz. So I'm going to go one at a time and we're going to ask you some questions. Right. Do you want to, do you want to ask the first one? Yeah, so I'll say the line and then you have to say who said it. And I presume the only two options are Ben and Cal. Yes. Of course. So the first one what? is everybody's vulnerable. We're all just a bit broken. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely got me. And they're correct, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs> Next one, boys. I am so sick of everyone thinking they know what's best for me. That's definitely a sea dog. That's a sea dog. That is. I know what's best for me. I know what's best for me. You just punched himself. What did I get? Okay, so the third one is if I had ovaries, they'd be melting. Right, it's definitely you. It's not, it's you. It's you. Oh, we've got a split. It's C. Okay, that's that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's been swayed. Oh, maybe he might be spot on. Callum says it to Ben. Oh, Ben said I smell queer. <laughs> Revolutionary that was. Oh, here he is. Walford's answer to Superman. I think I it's Callum. Okay, think it's Callum? Okay, you think it's Callum? Yeah. And you think it's Ben? 100%. Ben says it to Callum! Yeah! I feel like we can take on the world. Yeah. I'm going to go Ben. Yeah. Yeah, Ben? Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd still do you in a heartbeat. That's you, my man. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely you. You can, you can't go from caviar to sausage rolls, can you? Mate, that's that's the Mitchell that's, all that's over. That's isn't it? That's, yeah. that's ben, ben, says, ben says to Callum, "You are brilliant and you are sexy, and I'm lucky to have you." It's the Mitchell. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Well I just don't fancy being the gay Dumbledore to your gay Harry Potter. Ben, Ben, it was Ben. Congratulations. Ben. Next one. What I hope comes next for them, I hope that we just see them both go on a journey together through ups and downs, through dealing with not only their own problems and whatever may come their way, but also dealing with each other's and, and getting creating, through things together. Creating a family. I yeah. That's, right? the, yeah. That's, the whole, that's the whole point of them making this commitment, is it's the next step. When you see something on telly, particularly when you're growing up, etc., if you're going through a tough time, something like EastEnders or other soaps, they, they're reflective of real life. And I think that it's so important what, what the show does and what the, the job of it is to reflect everyday society. And I think that they see something and sort of go, actually, yeah, I can, I can resonate that with that. And if it's okay to, to be on telly, then, then surely I can be okay with that in, in my life. Yeah, so, both beautiful characters to play and just, yeah, it's been just long, long may it continue. <laughs> <laughs>